One day, the teacher caught me skipping class and I got suspended. I tried to argue that it doesn't make sense to make me skip classes as a punishment for skipping classes, but she didn't care. This was concerning because three suspensions would get me expelled. And if you watch my previous videos, you know that this was already my second suspension. I thought my avó was gonna kill me for that, but she didn't say a word. Since I couldn't go to school, I overslept and ended up having a lucid dream in the morning. I'm here to take you to your class. Follow me. So he took me to a place that looked exactly like my school. And I was super excited to be there. I remember that the first class was about a flower, but I got distracted looking at the foreign student in the class. By the time I started to pay attention, the lesson was already over. That took less than two minutes. I woke up and kind of felt bad for not learning anything in my first dream class. So I promised myself to pay more attention in the future. Not too long later, I had another lucid dream and I was back to the same dream school. This time I had a different teacher and the entire class was just him asking me to focus on a plant and not the details of it. I never understood what was the point of that and I was too shy to ask. So if you think you know, please let me know. After that class, the teacher brought us a lasagna. Everyone was eating with their bare hands, but I created a fork for me because I didn't want to burn my fingers. It was the best pasta I ever tasted in my life and somehow it made me even more lucid. Then everyone left, but I didn't want to wake up yet, so I decided to walk around the school. Seconds later, I found a glass door that wasn't there in my real life school. I looked through the glass and I could see a magic feather. As I've said in the past, a magic feather can be used to change my own reality, so I could have anything I wanted in my life. I tried to open the door, but it was locked. I am trying to get that door to open, to get a feather now that you lost mine. Sorry, do I know you? Hmm, so your other self never told you about me. You know OS? <laughs> of course I know him. We're dating. Wait, what? Since when? Since the day you saw mother. Is he still meditating? He should have woken up by now. He was dating a girl and never told me about it? He didn't want you to know about me, but he never told me why. I think he's question phobic. Let me take a look at my book of life. Hey, that's my book. It's my book. Look, there are two names in the cover, mine and yours. Who are you? Why are we sharing the same book of life? <sighs> There's no life otherwise. Ah, that's why they gave me that key. Who are you? Mm, I see now what my heart wrote to find me. You put him to sleep. Wait, he told me the dragon took my feather. How did you write this? I got the feather back, but the dragon stole it again. You lost it twice? Do you have any idea how hard it was to get the feather? I had to convince the dragon that I was gonna work for him so he could give it to me. So you stole the feather from the dragon? I didn't steal it. The dragon gave it to me. And before you were born, I gave it to your other self so that he could use to find me again in this life. He did find me, and we were together until you kissed that girl on the beach. You lost a West because I kissed someone? Uh-huh. Yeah, that makes no sense. He can't be with me if you desire someone else. He actually tried, but the more he fought against your desires, the more energy he lost. So he told me he was going to meditate to recover his energy, but- I woke up out of sudden. I tried to go back to sleep to return to the school, but it didn't work. During the day, I kept thinking about that dream and who that girl could possibly be. If OS was still around, he would have a lot to explain. No wonder he had been so distant. It didn't take me long to have another lucid dream, and I was back at the school. This time, my class was in a big place with many students. I looked for the girl, but she wasn't there. The whole lesson took just a few minutes. All I remember is that it was something about dividing the essence and maybe soul dates or something like that. I try hard to recall the details, but it's not easy to remember everything from dreams, especially from boring lectures. What I do remember is that after class, a student approached me. I notice you breathing. That's not normal around here. Who let you in? My garden. Hey, how come this place looks like my school? That's just how you interpret it. And you're studying here? I live around here. I'm working on a new tech. You would be amazed. I want to bring it to your reality. How? We can inspire people that work in the field. Or multiple people and see them blame each other for plagiarism. <laughs> That's weird. You should think about joining us. I mean, after you stop breathing. Wait a second. Are you saying I'm surrounded by dead people? We are not dead. We are very much alive. 
Folks don't stay here for very long though. I want to stay at least until I finish the attack I'm working on. And then go where? Eventually everyone has to wake up. This is such a weird dream. You're funny. I like you. Here. I made this for you. So he gave me a lollipop, but it was too sweet. Good thing I woke up, so I didn't have to get rid of it. Dreams are definitely weird. Not too long later, I was back at the same dream school, and it was already test day. The teacher created a tiny simulation of a city that looked very real and told me to find love. I remember seeing there someone planting a tree, a couple fighting, two friends together, a no lady with a cat, and some other people. I picked the guy with a nice car because there was a woman with him, but the teacher looked disappointed. He kept asking me if I was sure of my answer. After the test, I saw the glass door again. And guess who was there? Hey, I found the key to open the door. I'm going to grab the feather for us, but I need your help to make sure nobody comes. Okay. If someone shows up, you bark. Oof. Days later, when I had another lucid dream, I wasn't at the school anymore, so I teleported to there, and it's locked. Yeah, I even bought a key to get in there, but they won't let me in. Why? They think I committed suicide, but I didn't. It's not my fault for being born with a shit liver, so how did you die? I didn't die. <laughs> We have been expelled. My guardian's gonna kill me. Ouch. Well, cheer up, mate. I bet there's no freedom in there. Let's go get drunk. Jesus <laughs> fuck. Thanks for watching my video. In the next video, I talk about the day I lost my guardian. Let me know if I should keep making videos. Also, make sure you watch my previous videos to better understand what's going on. And don't forget to leave a comment and a like. Thanks for watching. Bye.